wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link. Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. And as you wake up and you begin this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise. Because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of 1 John, chapter number 1. It's verses 8 through 10. Scripture says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Here's some pretty uh, straightforward verses that that John has given to us here. Now let's break it down and see what we what he has. Here in the beginning here, verses 5 through 7, we looked at yesterday. We talked about how God is light and in him is no darkness, which means God and sin does not coexist. Light and darkness don't coexist. And we have to come to God sinless. And the only way to do that is through the sacrifice of Jesus. Because Paul wrote in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned. All of us have broken God's commandments. And that's why Jesus came was to pay the penalty for those sins. And now in verses 8, 9, and 10 of First John, we're reading about those sins and, and what we have to know about that and understand about that. In verse number 8, he says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. And the truth is not in us. His truth isn't in us if we say that we have no sin because the Bible already said we did. His word already said we have sin. And if we say that we don't, if we say that we have never sinned, we're deceiving ourselves. And there's a lot of people walk in the face of God's earth today that is deceiving themselves and they're keeping themselves from the truth maybe they don't want to admit the truth maybe they don't want to want to believe the truth but the truth is we're all sinners verse number 10 says if we say that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us who is him God if we say we have not sinned, we're making God out a liar. I don't know about you, but I don't want to call God a liar. Back in verse number back in verse number six, we read, If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. So in that verse, we're the ones that are the liars because we're not facing the truth. But if we put it all back on God and say, I've never sinned, we're making God out to be a liar. And believe me, if there's a liar, it's not God. It's going to be you. It's going to be me. And if we make him out to be a liar, Scripture says, his word is not in us. The truth is not in us. His word is not in us. And we're not going to accept Jesus as our Savior. Therefore, we're never going to get forgiven of our sins. And we're going to end up spending an eternity in a place called hell. And believe me, that's not going to be a place where you're going to be down there with all your friends partying and listening to heavy metal music and drinking beer and, and wasting the rest of the, uh, all eternity away. No, a place like hell is a place that you're going to be alone in darkness, darkness like you've never seen before. And burning in anguish because of the heat, because of the fire. Is that where you really want to go? Some people like me don't even like the heat of summertime here on earth. But I can guarantee you hell's a heck of a lot hotter. But then we got verse number 9. 
which says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see what he says here? If we, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He's not going to forgive a few of our sins. He's going to cleanse us from all of our sins and all of our unrighteousness. And then we will be made right with God. We will have that fellowship that we were talking about yesterday. Are you ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? Time's running out, my friends. If not today, then when? Think about that. And think about these verses. Are you calling God a liar today? Are you deceiving yourself today? Or are you going to accept Jesus today? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.